everybody this is dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on android framework components in my previous session i had explained what is a battery historian what are the uses of battery historian and how to set up a battery historian so battery historian it is nothing but it is a tool which will take bug report as the input and it will generate html report of the battery consumption of the device so using this tool we can come to know where exactly more battery is consumed in your android phone which process or which app is consuming more battery also we can prevent battery usage in future so here i have taken battery historian from my device and we can see the file name device build and android id information so this is how the battery historian looks there are different services and processes in your android phone listed here and on the x axis we can see the time from which time to which time i have collected my bug report and on the y axis you all can see uh, the battery level from 0% to 100% we can see here uh, right there is a, a line here so this means that my battery uh, level has come down from 0% to here almost 55 percentage so against every parameter there is a line that means this thick line indicates that parameter was running or active at that particular instance for example cpu there is a thick black line that means cpu was running all this time whereas there is some gap here there is white line white line indicates that component or parameter was not running at that particular point of time so we can see cpu was running here and it was off it was not running for some time then again it was running in small chunks again it was running so it's like that okay i hope this is clear with this we'll see what each of these parameter does so cpu as i already told if you are uh, doing any operation cpu will always be running so whenever your device is awake uh, whenever you are interacting with your device cpu will be enabled and if you point your mouse over any point uh, anywhere on the line you can see some table which will tell the top uh, processes consuming your cpu okay so that is what about cpu then there is kernel of kernel uptime then there is user space wake clock so user space wake clock these are the wake clocks which are not allowing your device to go to sleep mode we all know right what are wake clocks so these are the different types of wake clocks and how many times they have occurred so you can hover over that line and you can see the different inputs every time in the form of a table then long wake clocks what are the long wake clocks which are preventing your device from going into sleep mode that we can see screen screen is kept on during this particular time where this red color dark line is shown screen was on all that time so i was running youtube actually continuously so that my battery will be drained and i can get these logs so my screen was on when i was running youtube that is what we can see here and here we can see a white gap that means my screen was off during that time then top apps what are the top apps i'm using so here in the table i can see youtube whatsapp system ui launcher so similarly if i go little forward i can see only youtube is running then dose mode when was dose mode enabled we know dose mode will be enabled only when device go to sleep so here you can see cpu is off that means dose mode is enabled here you could see that small yellow lines right then job scheduler what are the different jobs which are scheduled if we just hover over that dots we can see them then phone call i didn't receive any phone call so that's why it's showing a blank line there gps2 it's showing a blank line ble scanning it's showing ble scanning was going in background phone state okay network connectivity since i was running youtube video i had connected to my mobile data and network connectivity is shown in this blank blue uh, sorry a thick blue line right so thick blue line the entire uh, x axis this line is covering that means i had never turned off my network my mobile data was always on even when the screen was off my mobile data was on 
so we can see those data is here and mobile radioactive the strength how was the strength that we can see mobile signal strength if it was moderate poor or good and we can see wi-fi related information also if we have connected to wi-fi what is the signal strength we can see then audio since i was running on youtube video audio was also enabled so we can see audio is also enabled camera i have never used and video uh, camera i had never used so it's showing the blank line video yeah i was using video so it's showing here the duration active duration and how many occurrences foreground processes we can see what are the foreground process facebook whatsapp weather information app so those we can see battery level we can see here so initially battery level is 98 then it comes to 97 then it comes to 96 and then it came to 95 94 like that we can see so every time when the battery was consumed what are the apps running we can check and the temperature we can check so initially it was 33 then slowly here when i come it becomes 37 so here it is reddish because the temperature has increased why because i am using cpu continuously i am running youtube videos continuously so that is what the different information we can arrive at from this particular chart now all this was depending on the battery level we can also uh, change this parameter and see the different things for example mobile signal strength i'll select so if i select mobile signal strength we can see where the mobile signal was high where it was good where it was moderate where it was poor all those details so here uh, instead of showing the battery level it will show none poor moderate good and great so mobile signal strength is over we can use phone state plug screen off discharge rate we can select so it will tell when your screen was off screen off here we can see this duration screen was off similarly there are different parameters voltage i'll select we can see where the voltage is coming down where the voltage was high all those different things we can see uh, voltage over then temperature we'll see temperature so where the temperature is increasing where it is decreasing if we just ho hover over that line we can see all those details wi-fi signal strength okay so basically most importantly everyone we will use battery level because that is uh, that is the one which gives us more information battery level so that is how we can uh, select the different parameters and uh, see the different variations of the different services running in your android device so in my next tutorial i will tell you all the details of what is this uh, tabular column what does these mean all these in detail i will explain in my next video i hope this information was helpful and informative to everyone i'll see you all in my next video until then stay tuned take care bye